Payroll analytics are important for every organization because they answer questions like, what is my total payroll cost? What is the cost trend of a specific category? How many calendars do I run in the period? And more. Payroll for North America and Global Payroll for Core grouped these questions into three categories. Payroll costs, operations, and trends. These dashboards answer payroll questions based on data provided in the system. Payroll for North America delivers a set of dashboards for each country. The Payroll Insights tile takes you to the Payroll for North America dashboards. The same visualizations are available for Canada and the U.S., but the amounts are shown in local currency. The Global Payroll Insight tile takes you to the three Global Payroll Core dashboards. Each dashboard includes information for all country extensions. You can define the available dashboard currencies on the Currency Conversion Setup page. This enables you to combine all country extensions and compare costs across countries. Each dashboard provides information for managers, payroll administrators, or payroll analysts to improve their processes and understand payroll operations, costs, and fluctuations over time. The Payroll Cost Analytics Dashboard displays payroll data for the last two years. You can change the date range to focus on a different period. The Additional Filters section provides the most common filters to analyze payroll information. For example, you can analyze payroll information for a specific company. The Payroll Costs Analytics Dashboards for the U.S., Canada, and Global Payroll Core provide information about the total payroll cost. Each payroll product has its own breakdown. For example, the total payroll cost for Payroll for North America considers the employee's gross, employer taxes, and employer deductions. You can analyze actual trends of total payroll cost, including its breakdown, which focuses on spikes in cost. You can also figure out how many employees you have paid, and if they are hourly, salaried, or are exception hourly. Labels can act as a filter for the whole dashboard. For example, to focus on overtime cost, select the overtime label, and the dashboard displays only the data related to overtime cost. The map highlights the states where payroll has been paid. A darker shade indicates higher payroll costs. The United States dashboard uses a state's map and the currency is the U.S. dollar. The Canada dashboard displays Canadian provinces and territories, and the currency is the Canadian dollar. The global payroll dashboard displays a world map, and the global currency defaults to the U.S. dollar. You can change the default currency to any currency. All visualizations enable you to inspect the data and export it to a CSV file. Select Overtime as the cost category to refresh the map. The shaded states indicate overtime costs. Select Inspect to see a breakdown by state or province. You can also get a breakdown by category for the total cost by earnings, taxes, and deductions. These categories are defined in Categories for Analytics setup. The grid at the bottom contains the payroll data used in the visualizations. You can use this grid to filter the dashboard. Let's drill into the lab facility department and see what our dashboard looks like. The Payroll Operations Dashboard provides a clear picture of the payroll status for the last 12 months. You can also analyze the number of payroll errors by severity, error audits, or both for a payroll process, and review the retroactive pay information. This dashboard is a visual representation of your payroll work center. Global Payroll Core uses pay groups from the work area user access setup to limit the data view in the dashboard. Select the U.S. Payroll Work Center link to access the Payroll Work Center in a new browser window. The Payroll Work Center allows you to resolve the audits found on the dashboard. This dashboard provides the total number of payroll calendars for the selected period. Global Payroll provides the breakdown for the absence and payroll calendars type. The gauges indicate calendar status. The payroll phases are driven by your payroll product. You can also determine the payment and general ledger status for your closed or finalized calendars. This section provides information about payroll audit errors. You can review the total number of audit errors and their breakdown by severity. In the case of payroll for North America, you can identify them by payroll phase. Use the Work Center link to access the Payroll Work Center and view detailed information to resolve payroll audits. After resolving your audit issues, rerun the audit process to update the analytics. 
the retroactive pay visualizations identify the volume, age, and top sources. The Payroll Trends Dashboard identifies unusual behavior over the last six months for payroll costs, the number of paid payees, paid earnings, taxes, and deductions categories, paychecks by frequency, and other details. For Global Payroll Core, taxes can be defined as a deduction category. Therefore, the dashboard provides trends for earnings and deductions categories only. For deductions categories, you can also review the amount not taken. The grids allow you to analyze retro amounts for each earning and deduction category. The hyperlinks in each category take you to a secondary dashboard. In the Breakdown by Category visualization, each series represents a member in the category. Each bar represents the retroactive amount paid in the month. The Member Details grid displays the amounts and calendars for all earnings and deductions that contribute to the category. The grid lists the calendars where members have been paid. Global Payroll provides a link to the results by calendar group for that specific payee. The Payroll Amounts by Category visualization distinguishes between retroactive amounts and amounts calculated for the period. Use the Go Back link to return to the main dashboard. In the secondary dashboard, Payroll for North America provides a breakdown by pay group. The grid contains the payroll category details by the pay end date, pay group, category type, business unit, and department. This dashboard provides payroll amounts by category. For more information, go to peoplesoftinfo.com.